Hey guys, what's up? Happy Thursday, and it just so happens to be the hottest day of the year so far. It's 70 degrees in Newcastle. Um, for the Fahrenheit fans, for the Celsius fans, it is 21 degrees, and I'm so hot. I was sitting in the garden before, had the shot set up ready to do the intro, and my neighbours either side of me started to cut the grass. How rude. So you may not be able to notice it, but I certainly can. I'm speaking with a little bit of a lisp. Um, if you've ever had like fa spicy food before, or like something like uh, really hot, and it like burns your, um, your taste bud, I've got that on the side there. However, it's, it's made my tongue swollen, like it's like a cut at the side, so the side of my tongue's swollen, and it's making my tongue hit the side of my teeth. And it's making us speak a little bit funny, and it really hurts when I talk as well. So today's vlog might just be more cinematic, I don't know. I do want to go somewhere, I do have a video planned. I put a poll out for all you lovely people on Twitter asking what you wanted to see next video-wise. Um, did you want to see how to vlog on a GoPro, or did you want to see a two and a half thousand pound camera versus a 400 pound camera? Um, I thought that would be the one that would win, so I need to shoot that video. I don't know whether I'm going to shoot it today, I might wait till Becca's here. We can go somewhere fun and that news is the test subject for the cameras. Um, but I can't go out because I've got laundry to do because, you know, adulting. Um, so I'm going to make some lunch. I'm going to get a nice cold drink. Hopefully the ice maker's made some ice because I am like really hot. I might have to take the hat off. Um, I was going to sit outside for a little bit, but again, like to uh, like petrol on was just isn't any good. Um, so hopefully I can get up with something fun. If not, I'm sorry, but people do like the home vlogs. Um, so... So it's lunch time, let's get this in the microwave, yes we're still on the, the Fitful Florida healthy meals. So this is the neighbour's cat Ollie, and one of Harry's toys has catnip in it, and he absolutely loves it, I think you can see he's starting to play with it there. Let's just check if I've heated this up enough. Mm, probably another minute. So I came outside to do a Q and A, and the guy at the street's getting an extension built on his house, and they started with like a grinder and like a stilt saw. So my day's going great. And I've got the neighbour's cat, Ollie. Here's Ollie. Whoop. Don't you knock that camera over. You can tell this is like an um, impromptu one because of how unprepared I am. So I just need to go on to Twitter, find the tweet. Right, I found a couple of questions anyway. The first one is from Rach U. And it is, what is your favourite place to eat on Universal property and the same for Disney. Universal. If we're taking into account City Walk as well, I would probably say Toothsome or Hard Rock. If you were talking in park, it would probably be Krusty Burger. Fine quick service. Disney, favorite place to eat is Tusker House for sit down, that's a really awesome place. Um, quite expensive, I did a vlog, I'll put it somewhere in the description, I don't know where it goes. Next one is from John B 84 he says, is Mickey's not so scary Halloween party worth the extra money? Yeah, it is. Um, it's not the cheapest, especially when you compare it to Halloween Horror Nights, but it is awesome. Um, you get a ton of candy, we tend not to do the candy as, as much because we like like enjoy the park. Um, but if you want to, you can get an absolute ton of candy. Um, so yeah, it is worth it. The next one is from Gary S, and that is if you could be responsible for the creation of one ride, what would it be and why? Now this has just recently changed because um, the movie that I saw. I think it would make an awesome addition to a theme park and that would be Ready Player One. Um, I think that would be really, really awesome. 
um, especially the way things are going with technology with the VR and that sort of stuff as well. So yeah, Ready Player One, um, and that would be why. Just loved the movie, one of my top three movies now. Sorry I'm still speaking a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, so that would be it. Um, I did also have some questions from a previous Q&A, which I never got around to filming, so I'll just give us a couple of minutes and I'll be back. Right, round two, and this one is from my friend Zach, Zach Attack. Um, if you were to have a two day vacation to Orlando, what are two things you must do before your vacation is over? And that would be visit Universal and Islands of Adventure. <laughs> they obviously meet two favorite parks. No, I would probably do Universal and Islands of Adventure in one day. And the second day I would head over to Epcot because that is my favourite Disney park. Next one is from Universal Mouse. How many memory cards do you take with you on vacation? And do you take a laptop to save all of your files? Yes, I do take a laptop. And I also take um, a 2 terabyte memory drive. Um, and I also back them up on the portable hard drive and the computer case. One of them goes corrupt. And I take about 8 memory cards because you never know how many memory cards you're going to need. Um, most of my memory cards are 32 gig. Um, I do have two 64 gigs and a 128 card as well. Uh, next one is from Amanda, Boston White. The world's fate rests in your hands. There's going to be a zombie apocalypse unless you ride one universal coaster. Would it be Hulk or Dragon Challenge? Now, I just realised she asked this in July last year, so she almost asked nearly a year ago and I didn't fill in the Q&A. Um, so I'm going to go with Dragon Challenge, reason being it's knocked down, so I'll probably get to like, the front of the ride and obviously couldn't ride it. <laughs> Minus Florida, what other part of the world would you and Becca like to travel and why? That's from my friend Jason. Um, there's loads of places I really want to go to. I want to go to Iceland, I want to go to Reykjavik, um, see the volcanoes, um, the, the waterfalls, that sort of thing. But I also want to travel to like Greece, um, Santorini, that sort of area. Some amazing photos, drone shots, explorations, that sort of thing. Um, obviously I can't account for Becca, but I know she would like those places as well. Um, the next one is from Zombie Chris. Pet peeves you see in other YouTubers' videos. It's a tough one. I would probably say when YouTubers say other YouTubers' names and videos. If I, if I can't describe it properly. When YouTubers say other YouTubers' names and videos to benefit them from in that video, that that annoys us. If that makes sense. Um, three factors that make a great hotel for you. One, it's called Cabana Bay. Two, it's got a lazy river. Three, it's next door to Volcano Bay. Very easy. Um, next one from Chris. You just arrived at Magic Kingdom and you see your camera battery only has about an hour left and you only had one battery, how would you go about the day? Um, I'd start by saying, hello, I'm at Magic Kingdom, and then shoot cinematic shots for 50% of the battery, and then take some dope ass photos for the rest. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, the next one's from Connor. Uh, plan the ideal Disney day, any of the parks or multiple, stay in any resort and eat anywhere, as many hours as you want. So let's just say I have 24 hours in a park, um, I would start at Magic Kingdom in early morning, rope drop that, then I would head over to Epcot, have some food around the world, and then I would probably jump over to Hollywood Studios, then come back to Epcot, and then maybe the last hour of the day in Animal Kingdom. The next one is Gareth and Laura. If you could build any theme or area, in a park, where would you look for your inspiration? That ties into the other question that I've just answered. Um, Ready Player One, I think it, it, it could make an awesome ride, but even better, an awesome land. It could make you could make a full land with different um, like areas as part of the Oasis. If you haven't seen the film, um, where like you go in and then you do different VR experiences mixed with like real life sort of augmented reality, I think that would be be pretty cool. What is your ultimate Florida tip? That's from Vicky Green. That would be for me, wear comfortable shoes. The first year we bought brand new trainers or sneakers and my feet were ruined by the end of the day. So that would be my top tip. What are your top tips from filming in the park? That's from Jane O'Sullivan. Um, 
top tips for filming a park. Just have fun. Don't if you wanna if you wanna make a good video, sort of plan what you want to shoot before you go. You know, make a little checklist. That's what I sort of do in my head, right? I want this shot, this shot, this shot, that's how I want it. Um and to me if I plan the shot then I'm not spending loads of time trying to get that shot because I know how I want it to look. Um, I can get it in the least amount of time possible while still having fun because at the end of the day you're on vacation. Uh, this one's from Sophie Kilde. Have you ever ate at Bahama Breeze or Applebee's? I've ate it both. I only ate at Bahama Breeze once. I think I've ate at Applebee's two, three times. Uh, Bahama Breeze is more expensive than Applebee's. Applebee's is obviously like a chain restaurant. I think Bahama Breeze is as well, but I've only ever seen it on International Drive. Both really, really nice. I would probably pick Bahama Breeze over Applebee's though, just for like the, the theming and stuff like that. Um, what do you work for, Gary? And how long have you had that lovely Mercedes? Um, I am a secret agent, um, but I shouldn't really be saying that. And I think I've had the Mercedes for four years because I'm doing a new car soon, so I'll be, be car hunting very soon. Uh, another one from Sophie Kilde, what made you book your first ever trip to Florida? Um, the Hogwarts Castle, that's the top and bottom of it, me and Beck, I just wanted to see all the Harry Potter stuff and then we fell in love. Uh, another one from Sophie, what inspired you to start YouTube? Um, top and bottom of it, Tim and Jen Trucker. Um, I only mainly started YouTube from watching that. They were the only YouTube channel that I watched when I started doing YouTube. Um, and now I, I so happen to be friendly with them, great couple, lovely, lovely people. Um, and their videos just inspired me to start by myself and God, I was terrible when I started. I'm not saying I'm good now, but I was really, really bad when I started. Um, but every day is a learning day. So that's it for the questions now. Um, I put a tweet up on Twitter that people have been replying to and I've answered some old ones which I've never answered before. So if anybody else um, drops tweets in, I'll pop them in in the vlog later on but I'm gonna go inside because it's like 24 degrees I don't have any sunscreen and you can probably tell I'm starting to sweat <laughs> So I've got a headache that just won't shift. I've had some like headache, tablets, I've ate some food. I've tried to make sure that I've drank enough. Just won't shift. I've had no no oh, I've had no motivation to do anything today, and it's a shame because it's such a nice day. Um, I hate making boring vlogs where I'm just sitting around the house. I feel like I'm not being productive. Today's my only day off this week as well. Um, obviously apart from Sunday. I haven't even edited this week's Florida video as well. The weather's still really nice outside. I've also got the Canon G7X sitting there because um, I need to shoot the next tutorial Tuesday video which I might put off till next week. I'm not too sure yet. I hate putting them off. I wanted to get them up every two weeks but I think I may try every three weeks just to cope with the schedule better. And my tongue being swollen is really annoying us because I hate having this, like I hate, I can tell in myself that I'm speaking weird. Um, I've been putting this cream on, like a gel called Bonjella, which is for like ulcers, which is what it is on the side of my tongue. Um, that has been helping, it's took the swelling down a little bit, but still catching on my teeth. Um, so hence, speaking funny. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Um, it's getting up like after four o'clock now. Yeah, it's like one minute past four. Um, not too sure. I've been editing for what feels like hours and essence it wasn't really that long. Um, but Becca's home now, it's like nearly 7 o'clock. Gonna go downstairs and help her make some dinner. Um, even though she never lets us because she likes it done like a certain way. Um, and then we're gonna chill out and watch some TV.